Hi guys, uh, welcome to another little video. So this one is all just going to be about general home decor. So let's just address the elephant in the room here. So our Momo. So this one actually handmade. So it's just a general prop dummy. So all like just hand material, toy stuff and so just made, basically made arms, body. So bought the mask from Amazon. So and the PJs I just got from charity shop, a couple of pounds. So the mask off Amazon was about, I think it was only about eight pound, something like that. So just um, glued it on with some spray glue. So the actual feet and hands were from Amazon as well. So for the whole set for the feet and hands was $14.99. Again, just spray glued them in once it was done. So, and there she is. So first thing I've got is a little Book of the Dead. So this was from TJ Hughes a couple of, couple of years ago. So it actually glows up, makes bubbly noises. So that will just sit on the side. That will just sit on the side of the coffee table with a few other bits and bobs that I'm going to show you. So we have just a cheap styrofoam skull. Again, this has got flashy lights as well you may be able to see it if I bring it in closer there you go so that was just I think a couple of pounds from um, I think it was from pound stretcher something like that we have just another cheap mask that I've just filled with toy stuffing like another little severed head prop she'll just sit on the side so the mask came from the range for about I think it was about five six pounds and then again just a cheap wig added onto that and some creepy cloth so a couple of cheap box that are bog style candles so it's got like a little Halloween theme witches on one a little ghost castle on another, little haunted castle, and the little LED lights inside. A few prop skulls, so hard plastic, so door opens. So I think we've got three of them. And then this one, little candle holder. So again, it just goes right round with different size skulls. Big one in the middle, pop a tea light at the top. So this was from Asda, I think. So this was about 15 pounds, 20 pounds, something like that a couple of years ago. And then I have a couple of these. So just again three foot, three foot skeletons. So you can either hang them up, but I usually have them sitting up on the dining table, on the side tables as well. So okay. Next thing I've got is this little raven. So So that's all he does, his eyes light up, he's hard plastic, his wings flap up and down. So I think this, he was from uh, the range a few years back now. So there's that little guy. Got this little bird cage as well, with a skeleton raven inside. I think this one reminds me of a bit of Edgar Allan Poe. So 
this sound activated. I have him just hanging up in the corner of the room. So, next one is like a big ghost. So this one's got poseable arms, he's got see-through hands as well. <coughs> Hanging prop. Switch him on. lightning effect on there so head flashes hands both flash as well so he's about three foot hang and prop from B&M mm. Next one I've got is like a grave digger type of face on them. So this one is it hangs and it turns round and stuff. So I'll just switch them on for you. So, he was from um, Little, I think it was, maybe a good 10 years ago now. So, I've added the fabric on there because it did just come as the standalone head. So, but made a little cloak, put some creepy fabric cloth around him. So, for hard plastic, I think he was only about £10 when we got him at the time. Next one I've got is uh, just a hanging prop. So this guy is like Salem's Lot, little vampire. So this one he reminds me of anyway, Salem's Lot. But he's a foam hands, foam head. So hangs up at the windows. That's where he goes. So again, creepy cloth. So we found him in a little shop, little random shop over in Wallasey. So, but this was a good 15 years ago. So, and he's stand at the test of time. So he hasn't usually foam deteriorates over time, but this one, he's lasted. So, love this little guy. Next one we have. Next one we have is a little skeleton wrapped up in spider web. So he's got red glowy eyes. So he's got lights running all the way down him as well. So you can actually hang him either from his head or you can flip him upside down. And again, there's a little cord there hanging from his feet. I've just gone ahead and stuck a couple of spiders on the web as well. So it never came with that. This one was from the range. Again, I think it was about 9.99, something like that.
Next thing I've got, big rats. That's what she said. So this is just quite, I think this is quite amusing. These were in this little, again, this little rare shop I found over in Wallasey. So many moons ago. So, but they get they're just rubber, rubber hands. I think they were about eight, nine pounds at the time. So a good 15 years ago though. And again, they stood the test of time. So they just sit at the front door as people come in. So now the next one is the Creepy Ghost Girl. So this is hard plastic, plastic face. I'll just switch it on. So this So this has a few various sayings and again like the little creepy music. So it is only half head but there is a hanging little loop on the head. So again I added the wig on top of this. This was this is actually from the range as well. I think she was about twelve ninety nine. So I bought it actually online from the range. So it hangs about three foot. So, but usually <coughs> I'll push, put like a pole underneath and attach it at the base of the head. So it actually stands up in the garden as well. Again, by the front door as people walk up. But loads of people have been freaked out about this. This actually got, uh, went online with loads of complaints one year when it first came out to say that it was just too scary for the kids, but I, abs I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic, little pot. <coughs> Next one is this guy. Again, hard plastic face, hard plastic hands. So he's got little, his mouth is actually all stitched up. I'll just So some various sayings on the his eyes light up inside. He's a hanging prop, hangs with a little cord from his head. Again, about three foot hanging prop. So he was, again, from, I think he was a, like the B&M, the range, again, uh, for about 20 pounds. So about maybe three years ago, four years ago now. Last few things that we've got to go, these are both these recently. So these are from B&M for five pound. So again, they just, they just light up, flash little orange lights in the flame, white lights in the actual candle itself. So I've got an actual set of them. Again from B&M, five pound each. So next thing, next thing I've got is this like demon. So he was from the range about four, three, four years ago now. So I'll just switch him on for you.
absolutely fantastic love this little guy so I can't I think he was about 20 pounds something like that from the range so but his eyes light up red as well so which is really good now on to my little vegetable cooking pot so I made this one myself so these are just like little cheap plastic vegetables you got them from within a basket for eight pound from Amazon so little frog in there from B&M for two pound so a couple of these little little skeletons so it was literally this type of skeleton the two pounds two three pounds skeletons from B&M so but I just broke them all up pop the hands in separate places little skull there so I've got a couple of little bats and spiders stuck in but all I've done was just done some spray foam popped it all in there's a little severed hand as well so and then inside the spray foam I have put the 299 battery powered lights so another an evening you're not, not really going to see it in the daytime but you do see the little lights there glowing little orange lights that, but it actually lights up all the foam put a little creepy cloth around the bowl so and that will just sit on the side in the kitchen so if you like this video again like and subscribe at the bottom so I will be going through a few more boxes getting ready there's uh, some big animatro animatronics coming up as well in some next videos so but that's gonna take a while to set up and show you those ones so but stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video